All right, so we are live on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I'm Kim. This is my husband, Dan. Hello. Uh, so as you guys know, last week I did my Kim's Wellness Tips for Wednesday. So I'm going to continue that throughout the course of summer. Because I did it a couple of years ago for the summer, and I think it was super fun. Um, hey, Christina. What's up, honey? So um, I had to bring in, last week I was doing a... Um, live when we were talking about oils and emotions, but I wanted to, hey Jen, um, I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit and we're going to kind of switch up the order of this. Dan has to actually jump on a work call um, in about five minutes. So we are going to talk about a little bit of my journey of how I got to using the oils that I'm going to talk about from immune support. Hey honey. Um, and what was kind of like the real impotence of where my health was at that point. So I thought it would be a good person to bring in was Dan because he was the one who had to take care of me. And wow, do I need a haircut? Okay. Oh, so, we all. <laughs> so um, we just kind of wanted to share that with you, but obviously it's better than me just talking and just giving a little bit of background. So um, what was it about? Let's see, so it was Christmas time two years ago. So we're about two and a half years, two and a half ago. years ago. Yeah. So I got really sick at Christmas, which was like not at that point abnormal. No, it was, it was about once a year she would go into a period of being sick for at least one month, but usually about eight weeks a year. And it'd be the beginning of the year, maybe it was holiday stress, I don't know what it was. Wherever, wherever her immune system was at the lowest point, she would get super sick. And that two year, two and a half years ago, it was, a, it was almost close to 16 weeks where she was not herself. She was cycling through, uh, all our usual medicine. What was on that one you were on? That was really oh, then I, well, then I ended up. They ended up putting me on prednisone because they said to me, "If you don't go on prednisone, my pulse ox was down to like seventy. For anybody who doesn't anything about asthma, so my breathing was very, 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 very low. And um, they said you either go to the hospital or you go on prednisone. And I hate prednisone. Um, and we can tell you we had our anniversary trip when I was our ten year anniversary trip, and I was on it, and I was so puffy. It just makes me feel like crap. It's just not good for you. And I. Um, and just to interrupt, just to give you a timeline on our anniversary trip, which was in Paris when our 10th, we just celebrated our 18th, so this was a common occurrence for yeah, that's true. Like at Amber, least 10 years. Yeah. Just the 10 years or uh, you know, last 10 years. No. Not longer than that. We've married for 18 years. Yeah. It's been a normal occurrence up until about two years ago. I think yeah. it's really what... Um, it just Dan has witnessed the last 18 years of it. So um, we... What were we saying? Oh yeah, so um, they put me on steroids, and they put me in a normal taper, which you you taper steroids down, and I got down to like the second like the second taper, and I still couldn't breathe. So they took me higher than I've ever gone before. So I went all the way up to like double the dosage. Um, at that point, I was willing to do anything because I really really felt horrible. I was on lots of other asthma medications. I was on antibiotics. They didn't really know what was wrong with me. Um, Thought I got a little bit better, didn't. Anyway, long story short, by the time March rolled around, they finally thought that my breathing was back at a level where they could really taper me off, gum completely down to zero. And at that point, I had been on it for so long that my cortisol levels were completely shot. So that's like your fight or flight and your adrenals. And I had basically, hey Megan, I had basically maxed out my adrenals. So they said to me, you, I went and had a test and they said, you can't stop using the steroids for an additional six weeks. Yeah. So I was on a very low dosage for six weeks until my body could actually start doing and bringing my cortisol level back, the cortisol levels back up. That was also simultaneously around the time, if you guys have ever heard me talk about this, um, that I came home pretty much and I said, I signed the pulmonology office because I was spending a lot of time there and I looked at the asthma chart and there it was talking about chemicals and I decided at that point I was throwing everything out and I was that person. I talk, I teach a lot about how to do this slowly, incrementally, but for me, I was so sick that I was like, I have got to change something. Um, and just to like fast forward through everything, I think what I want, you know, you, if you guys have any questions, you can ask. I can't even see the questions on Facebook, but um, for Dan and I, I don't think we could have realized what would have been, like he knew I was using like thieves and oils and stuff. Like, I mean, I've always gone to the chiropractor. I got him to go to the chiropractor and the acupuncturist. Like we've done a lot of that stuff. And I was gonna just do my own thing. It was just another thing that I did. That was really the impotence. And then finding out how it's impacted like the health of everybody in our family um, has been pretty unbelievable. Um, I mean, I say like nobody's been sick. No, we've been pretty much sick free, other than, yeah, you know, your runny nose here and there, but that's about it. Um, because we really removed a lot of stuff from our house, so it Which was... Which scary, yeah. 
Yeah, and so it just means that our bodies, because we basically, if we like to use the big word, bioaccumulation, which your body gets toxically overloaded, um, our bodies were basically detoxed and they were able to actually take care of itself with us using a lot of these plant-based solutions. Obviously, we drink a lot of water, we exercise, we do other things. I mean, um, both of us are big fans of acupuncture. There's other things that we do. We don't just do this in singularity, but like, luckily enough for us, like the health and wellness of our family has been super impacted. So... I don't know if anybody has any questions for Dan before he has to scoot because I'm watching the time. He's like, I have five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> bad timing. I know. It's always bad timing. But, um, okay. All right. All right. So, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, we'll bring Dan on live again this. We we'll don't do have it. a meeting. We doesn't have a meeting. We'll do it again this summer. So, um, obviously, one of the biggest ways. Hold on. Hi, ladies. Let me just see something. Okay. Um, one of the biggest ways that... Um, we did was we obviously for all my friends out there on instagram like we took all of our chemicals out and we clean our house with only this um i know i have a lot of friends on here who are watching who will thumbs up agree that's what they clean their house with i will tell you right now in the middle of this chaos in the middle of the craziness we are still cleaning our house with this okay um am i worried about what's happening absolutely uh i did find out though luckily not luckily i did find out the other day whether or not this is true or not who knows um, my pulmonologist was saying that actually asthmatics have not been affected as much as they um, thought they had been originally, which for me was a blessing because I was a little bit paranoid and now I feel like I'm able to like actually be a little bit more integrated back into society. But I think we all are suffering right now trying to figure out ways that we can do things that are super easy for us that are not... Um, that we can do at home, right? So that we can prepare ourselves. I know like people are thinking about the summer. Obviously a lot of things have been canceled. There's a lot of stresses behind that and people are wanting to integrate back in and see what's happening. And everyone has different philosophies all the way from here to here and that's totally fine. But I think the most important thing is to really start thinking about how do you prepare yourself from a health and wellness perspective, getting through the next month, I mean, excuse me, next three months so that in theory, and I would say anybody out there who has children would love to have their children go back to school, okay? Um, I think that this remote learning thing is extremely detrimental in some ways. Yes, it's great that we have the opportunity to do it and all, everything like that. I'm not disagreeing with it. And obviously, we're in the middle of a pandemic and I don't want to, hey, Kathy, I don't want to... Um, Actually, you know, I would never take away anything that's happening, but I think it's super important that we really start thinking about how do we keep our immune systems healthy, regardless if we have some, whatever model it is for going back and integrating back in, okay? Because even if you have to go to the grocery store, you need to make sure your immune systems are high. Um, also thinking about the fact that a lot of people are wearing masks all the time, and so you do have to be careful that you're not, make sure those are clean. Um, I actually drop oils into mine on a regular basis. Make sure they're clean, make sure they're aired out because you you don't want to be recycling back in your air. Okay? Our lungs are supposed to breathe in and then exhale out everything that's bad. Just like most of our things goes in and comes out, we want to get rid of everything that's bad. So you want to make sure that you're really keeping your airways clean because there are a lot of times they'll have secondary respiratory infections which they're finding out so just make sure that you're keeping everything clean if you're looking for like if you're an oily person and you want to be an oily person i would highly suggest putting a drop of thieves or a drop of peppermint right inside your mask when you do have to wear it into like supermarkets and stuff like that because it actually does help you breathe a little bit easier um and then you can move forward with that but we want to make sure that we support our immune system so i had put together kind of my top five different oils that i use i actually have made I'm very, very fancy, as you guys can tell. Um, I need to get really pretty labels. I am not very creative. That is why God created Etsy for me to buy them from. But anyway, this is from my um, my label picker. <laughs> um, okay, this is my immune booster. And so I use this all the time, but I actually started making... Hey, Ro. I actually started making... Um, oh, your poor son's wearing a mask for eight hours. Oh, God, Megan, tell him to put some peppermint there and take his, like, mask off when he can breathe. That's just a lot because it's just, it's really hard. It's actually really labor intensive. Uh, I'm glad he has a job, though, because I know that was a concern. Um, so I created kind of, like, these five kind of mega antibacterial, antimicrobial, antifungal, antiseptic, um, detoxifying, um, decongesting um, oils that I put together into this blend, okay? So the first one I wanna talk about, uh, there are two of each of these. So you have oregano and then you have immune power, okay? One of the main ingredients in immune power is oregano. 
okay? Oregano is very, very um, antimicrobial and antifungal and antiseptic, okay? And antiviral, okay? These are all just things that you can actually find on the internet. This is not, I'm not a doctor. I'm not saying it's going to cure illness. I am talking about supporting your immune system to the, um, to the ability that you can so that we can integrate back in. I want a haircut. Um, so we can integrate back in and um, feel stronger, okay? Then you have lemon, which is astringent, okay, this and very detoxifying. So just as a heads up, every morning I take lemon and I put it in my hot water to actually get my liver and everything kicking and going. So again, you want something that's going to have that kind of antiseptic um, detoxifying effect. So I take, I actually, so you can take straight up a, oregano. I go big, big guns on immune power. Um, immune power is a blend and it actually has hyssop, um, mountain savory, and Oh my God, I can't, some frankincense and oregano. So this is, and I'm going to talk about frankincense. So I just feel like why not go for the big guns when I have it? So I take 15 drops of this, 15 drops of lemon, and then I move on to Frank. Okay. So frankincense is my best friend. Um, if you guys, it, it, okay. So this just, it's just my best friend. I use this all the time for my face. I use it in a facial steamer. I use it for meditation. It's one of my favorite blends for relaxing and um, sleeping at night, but frankincense, um, is extremely, extremely good. It's an immune stimulant. Okay. Not a suppressant immunostimulant. So it keeps your immune system stimulated and healthy. So again, we're looking to boost, boost, boost up. So we don't want it to be immune suppressant. We want sort of stimulant. So it's immune suppressant stimulant okay and then um it's also muscle relaxing so when it comes to kind of like a meditation thing but if you think about it if you're having like respiratory issues or you're just not feeling really good what's going on like your respiratory system is like you know your congestion right so you're looking to actually release the muscle spagmentation that you're actually getting from it okay so that's just like a little thing then we have um eucalyptus globigus which I will tell you by itself literally smells like you're in a steam bath and is one of my favorites. I actually put a drop of this in my shower every morning, so it smells good. Actually, I lie. I don't do that anymore. I actually have a shower diffuser. I've moved up. I'm very fancy. But it's anti-inflammatory and it's anti-spasmic, anti-spasmatic, and it's a decongestion. Again, these are all things. So you think about when you have, yes, I will post um, the roller. Um, when, um, actually, I think, just to let you guys know, Instagram people, if you go into my highlights and you look under rollers, um, it should be in there. I think it's under like six support, but yeah, I will. So you can look on the highlights for that. But, um, okay. So eucalyptus globigus, um, you want to make sure that you're using something that is like, oh, I'm sorry. This is what I was saying. So when you use eucalyptus, like even if you went to a steam room, like how do you feel afterwards? You feel like you can breathe, you feel deep, everything like that. And like, you know, when you were younger, they used to put on, um, like I always say like Vicks Vapor Rub, it's the only thing I can really compare it to. I'm sure there's other kind of like rubs that were in there and you would rub it on your chest and um, you would feel like you could breathe. Well, the main, one of the main ingredients in there, if you're gonna peel everything back, which is really what we talk about when we use essential oils is peeling everything back. When you peel everything back, you were using eucalyptus, okay? And different forms of eucalyptus. There's actually three different forms of eucalyptus. This is my favorite and I feel like it works great for respiratory support and for just kind of immune support. So um, again, as it is because it's anti-spasmatic and a decongestion. So I use that, but I will tell you, and I put a couple drops in this roller, but I will tell you that there is an oil called Raven that actually comes when you um, get your little starter bundle that actually has a lot of eucalyptus in it. I like this, again, it's a blend, it even has more stuff in it. So a lot of times I will swap out the Globigus and I'll actually put this in, because I feel like, why not? If I'm gonna put 15 drops of something, let's just like go big or go home, okay? Um, there is another oil that's called RC, which again has eucalyptus slightly different and is actually um, easier to use for smaller children. So Raven really, depending on the size of your children, I have big children um, and their ages, you really, you wanna like probably around like five or six, you would start using Raven. Um, but for me, I would use RC on like little kids who have um, just little and they don't need as much as we, as much power, excuse me. And there's actually an ingredient in Raven that isn't supposed to be around the little kids. Um, okay, now, my last, and I'm kind of bummed out, so there's two last things I want to talk about. The mother of all oils for me, as everybody will know this, is Thieves, okay? This is the oil. This is my gateway oil. This is the oil that I was using before um, I started actually really getting into removing the toxic cleaners from my house. When I was saying, when I said, like, Dan was like, she was kind of just doing stuff by herself. I 
was using thieves all the time. I was putting two drops, okay, on my feet, not two drops. I was putting like a couple drops. I'm not, this is not, I'm like this. It's not a science. Couple drops straight on my feet. Doesn't matter where you actually put it on your body, any essential oil, um, within 20 minutes, it's in all your cells of your bloodstream. You think that would actually make my hair look better, but it doesn't. Okay. Um, so this is my gateway oil. I use it for everything. But what I started doing is because when I first got exposed to um, essential oils, my friend said to me, she goes, oh, that's for like all things immune support. I'm like, done, sign me up. Because again, I was always, always, always sick. So I started putting it in my feet twice a day. And then actually, funny enough, I found out that um, my sister's side of the family, one of the, um, her aunt, like whatever her husband's aunts, has actually been using Thieves for 20 plus years. And she's a doctor, okay? She's been using it for immune support. So this was just things that she was actually using additionally to support her immune system. Not she couldn't use it in a clinic and she wasn't, you know, this wasn't something she was saying to like writing on a script, but she realized the, the um, properties of it was using it herself. So I was like, that's kind of badass. So I'm like, I, if I'm doing that. So it has so many different oils mixed into it. One of them is actually clove. And it does kind of, Thieves always kind of reminds you of like that fall weather. Um, it has clove in it and clove is extremely high antioxidants, excuse me, itchies. And so what do we want from our bodies? We want to flush our bodies with antioxidants. We want to feel healthy. We want to feel strong. And so when you do that, the more antioxidants you put on your body, and just by the way, all essential oils have a lot of antioxidants. So the more you're putting them on your body, you're increasing the antioxidants in your body. Guess what antioxidants do? They kill the free radicals. You know what free radicals are? Free radicals are those nasty little things that go around your body and make your body sick, make your body feel lethargic, make your body feel unhealthy they cause illness and they cause wrinkles okay from a vanity standpoint so we want to flush ourselves as many antioxidants as possible that's why people talk about eating superfoods like blueberries and kales and like dark leafy greens that's why because you're pushing all these antioxidants to yourself here's the deal a lot of times we I'm a huge get, try to get as much stuff as you can from foods a lot of times you can't so you have to use supplements and then I also feel like using the oils has been extremely impactful so I use them I will put together the little um I use 15 drops of each one of those. So the five main ones that I said were oregano, lemon, frankincense, eucalyptus globigus, and thieves, okay? I did supplement some of the other ones with some of the blends that Young Living has because I love them and I think like why not have more power for your punch? And so that is like something you can also harness in there. And you can use all of these independently. You can put them all together and you can change up all different things. Um, I do just want to just quickly before I jump off, because I don't want to, if anybody has questions, by the way, put them in the comments. Okay. Let me just slide this over and see if there's any questions. Okay. Um, but, oh God, sorry. <laughs> um, this is the thieves cleaner that I use. Okay. This is it. It is slightly differently formulated, obviously than the oil. Okay. Here's the oil. Oh, and just to let you guys know this, if you see how this has a little white jacket on it, that means it's been approved by the FDA. They can actually be ingestible, which is awesome, right? Because you need to understand where you're getting essential oils from. You need to understand how to take care of your body. You need to understand the quality behind it. And there's, I do a lot of one-on-one -on -one classes. I'm actually doing one tonight at eight o'clock talking about the quality difference in the seed to sell. Hey, Sandy. Um, but thieves, um, it has a little white jacket, which means it's ingestible. Okay. So good thing is sometimes I will actually take it with like a scoop of honey to get it inside my system as well, or I'll throw it actually into, um, tea, like hot water and lemon and get it myself. But here's the cleaner. They realized, I'm just going to give a quick little backstory. Thieves was originally created based on the story of the bubonic plague back in like the 1500s and how thieves were, um, arrested and they were they were arrested for pillaging through the dead right like that's what they used to do because they were dead and they were trying to get it and they weren't dying but everybody else was dying they couldn't figure out why people like how come these people weren't dying so they said if you this is based on a story if you tell us what you guys were doing then we'll spare your lives we'll just put you in prison okay fast forward anyway they were like well you know we use some tinctures and some herbs and because that was very popular like obviously modern medicine wasn't back then um and so they spared their life the owner of this company, Gary Young, had heard the story and started doing a lot of research about what potential oils and different products they could have actually been adding into it. And so when they did that, he came up with this blend, which he calls the Thieves Blend, okay? As I said, it was my gateway oil. Um, once they realized how many properties like antibacterial, antifungal, antimicrobial, 
they that it was actually for people they decided you know what we can make an entire line of products so not only is young living now just an essential oil company what well, started as an essential oil company it's really a wellness company okay they have like 700 hey courtney they have like 700 different products so um this is what i clean my house with this is the cleaner this one capful i put into a bottle about this size usually a glass bottle and it cleans my whole house, okay? Um, sometimes for bathrooms, I don't lie, I put two capsules in here. This is the only thing we use, baking soda and water, okay? Um, again, I'm doing this during this period of time. Um, am I precautious? Yes, am I cleaning anything down? Yes, but I also feel like the difference from removing the chemicals into my, like from my health was astronomical. I mean, when I tell you guys right now, I was sick I mean, Dan said it was like a month. I was sick at least three times a year. Sometimes they were as long as a month. Sometimes they were like two weeks. It could be bronchitis. It could be walking pneumonia. That last bit that I was talking about earlier was definitely full on pneumonia because I had a lot of fluid in lo lower parts of my lungs. So swapping all that crap out made such an amazing difference for my health. And then all of a sudden, like six months went by and I wasn't sick. And a year went by and I wasn't sick. And then a year and a half went by. Anyway, you get the point. I, I still have like, knock on wood, and I'm not saying I'm never going to get sick, but what I'm saying is allowing my body to have what it needed and to be healthy with good food, nutrition, water, exercise, removing chemicals. And as I started to do that, yeah, it, well, yeah, I know, right, Megan, exactly. It made a huge difference in your um, allergies, right? Because you're not taxing your body all the time. I want everyone who has a cleaner in their house to think about when they clean their bathrooms and they do something and then all of a sudden how do you feel afterwards like a lot of times people like don't feel good their eyes are stinging their nose are running they don't feel good that is your body being like what in the god's green hell are you doing to me so my this is my philosophy i love modern medicine i take an asthma medication every single day i would like i joke around i am not survival the fittest i would probably be dead okay if i did not have medical intervention straight up okay love the medical profession i just feel that when your first recourse for things should always be, let's try to be preventative, right? So these tools that I'm giving you and I wanna share with you as a community, and I do share with the community that we have, is all about talking about how to keep our bodies healthy here so that when something does happen, it can fight it off to the best of our ability. And if it can't, then you get medicine to help you, right? So doesn't that make sense to do those levels? We have so, so yeah, important for us to, yeah, exactly. I agree. Um, Yep, exactly. We're like a septic system. It's true. And it's actually funny you say that. My friend Jen, who teaches, like a lot of times, she talks about us being like a funnel. And so when we're babies, like, you know, everything's pouring into us, pouring into us, and we're detoxifying, and we're all great and everything like that. And then all of a sudden, one day, like, everyone, like, it starts to, like, clog up. The drain gets really thin, and you're like, I don't feel good. I have endocrine issues. There's all these other things happening. And your body's just, like, so taxed, so it needs to clean everything out and detox. Okay? So... If anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. I try to keep these under about 20 minutes. I'm going to do them every Wednesday, Facebook and Instagram. Um, I love, if anybody has a topic they want to talk about, I'm happy to do that. Um, I'm so passionate about what I do and I love what I do and it definitely fires me up and gets me all like jazz. But I'm like, I, I, I cannot explain to you enough how my health has changed. And I get it if you're a person who has not come from any kind of illness in their life and that is absolutely amazing for you but there are other things that will affect sometimes it will affect brain fog um and there's just so much going on right now with like research so go like do some google searches look up fragrance look up toxicity um i am going to throw method under the bus right now because they have a class action lawsuit against them right now because there's a lot of greenwashing just because it says like it's all natural does not necessarily mean anything okay there's a great app before i head out it's called think dirty i encourage you to download it it's free and you can scan your household products, the stuff that's in your medicine cabinet, the stuff that's under your sink, and you can kind of see what's in there. And one of the biggest flags right now that they're watching is fragrance because there is not a lot of regulation behind it. And um, it seems to be causing a lot of other issues that are going on with people and their health and wellness. So um, I hope that was super interesting for everybody. I will be back next week with a fun topic and I wish everyone a fabulous Wednesday. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Ciao!